Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we are going to replace the screen of this laptop because it has lines and over time it goes white. Instead of taking it to a computer technician, you can basically do this one. It's one of the simplest things that you can do in fixing a laptop because it's a replacement and you can save some cash and you can learn something also. And then you can fix somebody else, a friend's computer, a family member's computer and so on and so forth. So jump in and I'm going to show you step by step on how we're going to replace this screen and save some cash, all right? Okay, here's the Dell laptop, all right? So you can see the lines already there. And the very first thing you need to do here is shut it down. Then remove the battery if it has a removable battery. In my case, it doesn't have, okay? So I don't need to remove a battery. The next thing you need to figure out is if there's something that you need to remove, like a screw, because for me, in my case, there's this cover of the hinge that I need to remove the screw so that I can um, open, uh, initiate the opening of the screen. In some other laptops, you don't really need to remove some screws. You can just go ahead and snap the covering of the screen. All right. So there you go. Then I can easily remove that, easily remove that. See how simple it is. Now you need to find an opening like this, then start to pull it from the inside, okay? So that you're not going to break the locks, All right? As simple as that. Don't worry, just make sure to do it like there's force on, on pulling it out, but don't overextend it, okay? So this one feels like it's going to get broken, but it's not. There you go. It has tape, double-sided tape inside, that's why. Okay. It's removed and that's the screen okay so there are actually screws that's that holds the screen and you need to remove that one so in my case it's four all right and then I can pull this one up don't Pull it out because you might break the wires or the flex. And you can see this one, this is where it is connected. So you need to slightly pull this one up because it was taped at the back of the LCD. Then slightly remove this one. Okay. Now you need to check if it has a lock. For some other LCD screen connectors, they have locks. Some others doesn't have. So you can, for me, I have a lock here that I need to pull up. Luckily, my pinky finger can do it. So there you go, it's removed. Now the next thing you can do here, guys, is bring this one on a nearby store, laptop store or computer store. You show them this one and they're going to provide you with a replacement. However, if it is not accessible to you, you can also search this one on the internet. And I'm going to show it to you how you're going to do it. Like you search for the number, then you're going to see if it's compatible with this number. Let's quickly do that one on eBay. And then I pasted the model number here and you can see, you see that there's a lot of things listed here. Then if you're not sure of the, the screen that you're getting, you can just simply uh, send a message to the seller and they're going to respond to you if it's compatible or it is a direct replacement for what you already have. Well, anyways, that's what you can do if you don't have some local store of computers in your area. Well, for me, I have an old LCD that comes from a different laptop. It's basically an Acer laptop. And yeah, you can see that um, I'm comparing it side by side just to make sure that they are compatible together because I did not buy it online. I got it from an old laptop. And one of the things I wanna do is try to check the pins, if they are uh, compatible together. Um, but I can already say that by just doing this one without even checking it on the internet, that they are actually compatible together. But for you, if you are not yet sure about it, make sure to check that model number, that serial number, both of them, if they are compatible together. Like, but for me, like what I've said, just by looking at it, just by doing it side by side, they are compatible together. So I'll just go ahead and plug this one. And you need to do it like straight up because of course, yeah, I powered the laptop down. So no worries about the short circuit thing is I'll just place the lock, then place the tape. 
the sticky tape is not already there so I'll just use this one to tape it back okay that's good make sure okay so what I can do right now before trying to put it permanent already basically I can power this one on and uh, let's say just cross your fingers it's powering on ha <laughs> give it a big clap guys you see the lines are gone because that kind of issue is basically on the screen itself now while waiting for this one to boot up i can go ahead and screw the uh, screws uh, just make sure not to drop anything on the screen or short circuit the laptop all right i can also start to place the cover so that um, just making sure that there's nothing there then just make sure to press the sides properly so that it will lock uh, yeah that's why it's booting a little bit longer because it's doing some updates make sure that they are going to fit right okay there you go it has turned on already and i don't have those lines i just want to make sure that i finish this one up they are going to lock together and of course before we do that one i'm going to screw again the cover here at the back there you go and then the other one all right i think we're all good and voila there you go all is well mi amigos Let's go ahead and try it. My battery is running low. <laughs> so let's try to open a document, try to test everything that we have here. Yeah, you can already see that there are no lines. So we are 100% good with our, our repair. Now, let's just go ahead and try to check this one back again this is the old one and again you can see that um, uh, model number of the screen that you have there so anyways guys if you have learned something from this video don't forget to um, like this video if you are not yet subscribed of course I would love if you are going to subscribe for more videos and tutorials so see you in my next video